This is the thyroid gland with single nodular lesion associated with relatively thick prominent fibrous capsule. The lesion shows follicular differentiation. Here we have these relatively normal looking follicles with colloid lined by normal uh, thyrocytes. And here we also see much smaller follicular like structures, most of them without luminal formation and also without colloid content. We do not see typical features of uh, papillary carcinoma or typical nuclear features of papillary carcinoma. So our differential diagnosis includes follicular adenoma and follicular carcinoma. The nodular lesions uh, in case of multinodular thyroid hyperplasia or, or multinodular uh, goiter are usually multiple and that uh, they do not have uh, this prominent fibrous capsule. Well, follicular carcinoma and follicular ad adenoma can have very similar morphology. And uh, the only difference is uh, the angio invasion or invasive type of growth in case of follicular carcinoma. So we always need to carefully search for intracapsular or transcapsular invasion in the lesions like that. And here we really have it. This is the fibrous capsule. And here we have part of the tumor invading into the fibrous capsule. And here we can see the transcapsular invasion where the lesional cells are in close contact with the um, adjacent uh, thyroid parenchyma. So even if the cells uh, look relatively bland, this should be diagnosed as follicular carcinoma. And this also explains the fact uh, why the follicular carcinoma cannot be reliably diagnosed from the fine needle aspiration because, uh, because we see these follicular cells, but it is impossible to find transcapsular invasion or invasive type of growth or angio invasion. Thanks for watching.